Hello everyone, and welcome to my tutorial. Today in Fusion 360, we're going to go ahead and rifle a barrel. So let's go ahead and get started. Using a plane of your choosing, of course, create your barrel. My barrel is going to have a 13.5mm exterior, or diameter, for, and I'm going to have an internal diameter of 8.9. I'm actually working for a 9mm round, however, I'll show why I'm doing that in just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and extrude this negative 4 inches. I do negative 4 just because it's comfortable, comfortable for my eyes. <clears throat> you can do whatever you want though. Now we're going to go ahead and set up some construction planes. I like to set one up here at the origin, that way I don't have to use the actual origin one. And I go ahead and go negative 1, and you don't have to put 1, you can just do the negative quotation mark. And I forgot that one there. There we go, and we're offsetting it correctly. And one more. We do this so our loft will have a defined path that it can go down. See, it'll be evenly spaced as it goes down the barrel, and we shouldn't have any errors. So, let's go ahead and start with our first one. We'll create on this first sketch. I'm going to turn off the origin here, or maybe not. So, I'm going to select that. Alright, that's our construction plane. And I'm going to use the center rectangle tool. And for this, we're going to go ahead and set this to a 2mm wide and 11mm tall. And we're going to now use our center circle tool and have our cutout to 9 millimeters. So this is what's going to actually give us our 9 millimeter effect. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the construction planes because they're getting in the way a little bit. And I'm going to start trimming with the trim tool all this fat that we don't need. Including these construction lines here in the center. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill it the corners. But I'm going to do it a 0 0.02. You could, do, uh, you could leave it alone. But to me, it's just a fillet leaves a nice edge. And now we should have our center tool body. Let's go ahead and go back in the sketch since I was premature to leave that. And select it and copy it. Turning back on our construction planes, we're going to go ahead and select our new one. And we're going to go ahead and paste it. Our origin is here in the center, which is great. So we're going to go ahead and turn this 36 degrees. I turn this at 36 degrees because it's a 36 degree turn every one inch, inch, which translates to a 1 in 10 twist ratio for this barrel. And generally like a 1 through 8 or a 1 through 10 can, I'd say can generally stabilize anything in the real world dynamics. So 36, uh, we'll have 72. And to make this easier on us so we don't have to like keep doing math, I'm just going to copy each sketch now. Paste. 36. Oh, so close. And that, this is going to be our last one. And this one, since I didn't do the math, 72. Alright, so it looks pretty well done. It looks like it's going to rotate just how we need it. And... Again, if this went, uh, this is a 110 twist, if this went one more inch, this basically would have done a whole 180, but we're just a little bit off from that. So, let's go ahead and hide our body and create our loft tool body. Choosing from the actual profiles and not the center of them, we're creating the loft down the line. It looks like we've done pretty well. Looks like it's a very smooth transition. Okay? Since also we've also filled at these edges, so we don't have to about wor uh, worrying about filleting the inside. Let's go ahead and select our tool body, and let's create a pattern of it, circular specifically. Cr uh, cl click our center line and use three. Now we can say this is our rifling bit, and we're going to go ahead and combine all of them together. And we're going to change our operation to join. You don't need to do any interior fillets here because that's not touching the actual barrel. So, just for continuity, I'll change this to barrel, and I'll change this to uh, rifling tool body. Okay, selecting our barrel, we're going to go to modify, combine, and we're going to click our tool bodies, and select our rifling tool body. We're going to change the operation to cut, and since we're here, in per, uh, we'll have to change the perspective from orthographic, go to front, that looks like a pretty rifled barrel to me. Since while we're here, let's collect the fillet 
uh, command and uh, we'll go ahead and just click down the line and we'll go ahead and do this and I'm setting this I think 0 0.012 less so 0 0.02 should be good enough fillet and now we have a, uh, a rifled barrel looks real nice easy peasy and if you wanted to do any showcasing where you're in a fusion and you wanted to have a cut section of a barrel and you wanted it to look right, we can do it this way. And just say, all right, here it is. Start extruding down the line. Let's not go all the way through. And say if we went to render, you would just select appearance uh, we we're just, let's just do metal paint, and we'll choose red, and we'll check faces, and boom, anywhere where you'd actually cut the barrel to show it off, red. Let's get back in the model. Okay, that looks like a pretty accurate barrel. So let's just go back so we don't have extrusion. And see, using the loft command, this was just a really quick and effective way to create rifle barreling. <laughs> I just said rifle barreling. Barrel rifling, I'm sorry. But uh, thank you for going ahead and checking out this tutorial. I'll be having new tutorials in the future. I'm going to not show what just happened there. That's my news feed, it pops up. But if you liked the video, please think about subscribing or liking the video and sharing it with your friends. For anyone that wants to try and create barrels for weapon designs or maybe weapon presentations or anything of the sorts. Thanks. Bye.